The target population is the students of Alzoa Secondary School. In this regard, MUSE members used the non-random sampling to get in contact with teenagers as exemplary caste in society, since they are an ideal representative to the coming generations and an apt case to gauge their perception to the other, peace, and tolerance. The samples are boys and girls less than 14 year old from the same school. Beyond the abstract level, the team used questionnaires to get concrete date to about those students' lives, the way they experience moments of violence, and how they come to grips with the situation. Hence, Muses stretched on the descriptive statistics that are based on quantitative findings to bring to the fore a clear-cut image about the students' state of consciousness and state of reference in accordance with the divergent acts of violence they encounter. Look at the figures below. We have them ready. Virtues The pleasure of our workshop was to see those students amused and content to participate with us in our universal campaign against extremism. We believe we had reached noticeable success as we were able to draw a smile on the students' innocent faces as well as being able to teach them few things on tolerance. Our outreach made us self-contented for ample grounds. The virtual sites or social networking websites were also layouts to spread our messages and cast the shadow of Muse against extremism. As a corollary, thousands of followers in our pages on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube were actively involved in our campaign through likes, comments and shares. Here we need to add the chart of metrics. The objective of Muse at this time is to enlighten adolescents about the subversive outcomes of violence at a broad sense. Not surprisingly though, we organized a four-day workshop that encompassed many-sided activities. The seminar was held at the premises of the secondary school Alzoa in Fez. On the first day, Muses delivered a presentation on violence and its dramatic ends or aftermath on teenager. This talk Mr. Badrella Mimi and Mr. El Hilli took on the apt resolutions to decrease violence in the Moroccan public schools by providing systematic and intrinsic consoles to let their goal on the go. The second day was devoted to creativity and storytelling. By the same date Musos invited the crafted Kadia Hassela to recount stories on peace and tolerance at loose. By the same tokens, Musos organized variant contests between students to agitate their intellect and dig out their creative skills via writing stories, painting, and others. The third day opted for the psychology of students along with the way they approach tolerance. On that day, a well-experienced psychologist partook with students in their personal problems and rendered them capable to approach the other rationally. The last day was the time for sports par excellence. On that day, students were involved in soccer games the whole day. At the end there was a winning team that received trophies and a ball as an award. The awards did not confine to players only, yet the winners of other competitions were also rewarded by the organizing committee. 
This activity foregrounds ample hypotheses bound to premises of children's identity, peace, tolerance and the fear of their loss within the new millennium and its dramatic metamorphoses. Muses always hold a serious question that seems incumbent more than much, primordially or humanity that inquires if their 21st century will be peaceful or not. This competition as repercussions is welcome for muses to respond to similar groundbreaking queries that are exhaustively imposed to categorically reshape man's thinking about tolerance within the contemporary diet times that overwhelm the world's politics, economy, and religious conventions. Be that as it may, the thematic oblivion of this academic event takes on divergent tenets that scrutinize the decline of humanism for the favor of the extremism. The second is deemed today a linear output dominating the universal interconnectedness. At the methodological scale, we adopted the inductive approach. We visited students, we communicated with them, and we took the patterns of every single datum. Within this approach, we used the case study type which is described in the target audience section. The methods are both qualitative and quantitative. The mixed method we fostered then is boosted by the triangulation technique that leads to qualitative and quantitative findings purposefully.